Minneapolis police are searching for a group that broke into the Ronald McDonald house. They took more electronics and more staff at the nonprofit for sick children and their families can't believe it. Our Adam Duxter is live at the Minneapolis location with the details and how other groups are stepping in to help Adam. Yeah, Shayla, it was just early yesterday morning that staff here at this nonprofit say their security cameras caught a group breaking into this building through a door and then they went in, took everything from food to a television, a gaming console, games and more. And the estimate is between everything that was damaged and everything that was stolen, this group will have to now raise $25,000 to cover the cost. But Really, more than that, they say it's just the sense of mind, right? Who would take something from a group that is working to help so many people right here in the Twin Cities metro? Now, the group's COO talked to us and said it was shortly after they had realized there was a break in that Minneapolis police were here starting an investigation of their own and they're hopeful with the evidence that they have specifically their security camera footage that it won't really take long for police or at least that they've got a good start. But to put it into context, Shayla, these were all stolen from common rooms, which are really close to where the families stay here um, at this house. So they really do say it is just kind of unnerving to think that people would come in and do that. You always think about what does it take to get for someone to get to this point, right? Um, but I go back to our families are in the unimaginable. So I, I just don't know how anybody could get to where we've gotten in this situation. really, really great for this group. They started an online fundraiser with the goal of raising that money and say they've already gotten thousands of dollars of donations and groups reaching out from throughout the Twin Cities Metro here asking simply, how can we help? Tonight at 6 o'clock, we will introduce you to a family that's been staying here. They'll share not only how this has impacted them, but also really the message why they don't want this burglary to stop the good work and even stop the message that this place is doing so much good work here in Minneapolis. Even during challenging times, you kind of see the best in people sometimes when they step up to help. Thank you so much, Adam, for your report. We look forward to that update.